Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learn-ocean.com. So guys, from today onwards, we are going to start a new series, which is on Playwright. If you have heard of Playwright, it's good. If not, then don't worry, because in this series, I'm going to talk a lot about Playwright from the scratch till the end. Okay, so in this video, I will just quickly brief about what exactly is Playwright and what exactly Playwright provides, why it is getting popular. It launched two years back, but if you see the growth, it has picked up a lot of growth. Many people are adopting Playwright because of its features. Then this video, I will talk about what exactly is Playwright, what are the different features it offers, and how exactly Playwright works. So in order to get started, if I talk about official uh, Playwright website, which is playwright.dev. So Playwright is one of the automation framework which help you to automate your web application, okay? Now, if you talk about what is new in this, then don't worry, just stick to this video till the end. I will talk more features which uh, Playwright provides and then you will get to know how powerful Playwright is. Now, Playwright is not the only tool in the market which does web automation. There are a lot of tools in the market which does the same thing, but Playwright offers few more features which you will get to know within a minute. Okay, so Playwright is a separate framework which majorly supports all the not all but yeah in the plan they might have the different languages but as of now it's supposed node.js javascript python java and dotnet soon we might get additional languages but these are the majorly used programming languages which is a big part because till now apart from selenium whatever tools we have used right they hardly supports python or javascript but after selenium playwright supposed uh you know playwright support node.js uh, java .NET and Python, which is again a very good advantage. Second thing, it is also free and open source. It means you don't have to pay a single penny. You can get started right now after this video. A Playwright supports all the major browsers that we use in real time. So it supports all the Chromium based browsers. So whether you talk about Chrome, Edge or any other Chromium based browser, it also supports Firefox. It also supports Safari. It actually supports WebKit, which is a Safari engine that is internally used. So cross browser, it support all the modern rendering design, including Chromium, WebKit, Firefox, which we discussed just now. This is the major important part, cross platform and the cross languages. Cross platform, you can work on Windows, Mac, Linux, locally on the CI. So suppose if you are running on a CI server, you can run your test on any CI server in the headed mode or in the headed, headless mode, it supports all. This is the feature which I love. Suppose if you already have a good experience in Java, then you don't have to learn any separate programming language. You can also implement Playwright with Java, Playwright with C Sharp. This series will continue Playwright with JavaScript because uh, in the last series I covered Cypress with JavaScript. So this series will be on Playwright with JavaScript. But if you want the separate se uh, series on Java, please let me know in the comment section and I will try to create a separate playlist on Playwright with Java. Test mobile application. So when you talk about native application, no. When you talk about test mobile application, yes. For example, I want to see how my application will work on Chrome in my Android device. That emulation part I can easily do in Playwright. So native mobile emulation of Google Chrome for Android and mobile Safari. Second important point about Playwright is no flaky test. If you see this auto wait, this is the part which was missing from a long time in all the different frameworks. It means suppose if your test is failing due to synchronization issue, we have to add the weights manually. But here it comes with inbuilt feature auto wait. So suppose if element is not enabled or not clickable or maybe it is not visible due to some um, events in the background because of the JavaScript events, but it is coming after some time. So in the traditional automation tools, it used to fail, but here because of the auto wait feature, it will wait until that particular condition is not true. Once we move forward, I will talk about how Playwright waits for that particular activity. So there's something called actionable state. It means until that element is not in actionable state, it will keep on waiting. It has a default timeout that also we can configure that you will get to know once we start uh, the complete series. So once we discuss about the timeout in Playwright, I will be touching about this as well. Web first assertion, you can uh, put the assertion on the fly. It also has some default assertions for a URL for a specific page and for web element. But if you want to add your own assertion that also you can do that. Tracing, this is again amazing feature where you can actually do the tracing of your test. 
you can capture the screenshots videos and a lot of things that you can do in the tracing part and this is again a very important part which is called no limits it means now it does not have limitations which cypress have main thing here it supports multiple tab okay if you remember cypress have this limitation that it does not allow multiple tabs or windows but here we can easily switch between the windows and the tab and we can perform how a actually a user will perform with our web application test frames auto piercing of shadow dome this is again a very great feature so once you talk about the shadow dome we'll talk about what is auto piercing in playwright you can also switch to the frames within you know just one line of code and you can easily handle the frames in playwright in cypress we have to do some work around we have to use some plugin but here no need to use any kind of plugins for that fine now faster execution for faster execution it works in the browser context so playwright actually create a browser context for each test so fast execution will be faster now these are little technical topics that you will get to know once we start the series right so then you will get to know what exactly is context and how playwright works faster because it works with a separate context login once okay so if you have certain scenarios where you want to perform login part so you can actually save the authentication state uh, to the context and you can reuse in all the tests okay for example login logout these are some basic activity that you will be using so let's say if you have 100 tests and all the 100 tests leads login so what it says you can log in once you can save that state and you can continue with the remaining activity so you don't have to perform login again and again powerful tooling so it also provides code chain a player inspector trace viewer all these things you will get to know once one by one once we start going through the series okay if you go through the one by one it actually as an instance code gen which will generate the code and you can save them into any language whether it's java c sharp python or javascript you can inspect the elements you can inspect a page and you can actually run them trace viewer you can capture all the information in case if you want to investigate the test failure it provides a lot of things so once you start the trace viewer you will get to know about this this is just an introduction video next video will be more about how to get started this is just the introduction part so that you should not be very new to playwright the only prerequisite before starting the series you should have some idea of javascript because from day one we will be playing with javascript but if you're complete new to javascript then don't worry i will give you a dedicated playlist which is recorded by me i will give you all the links in the description go complete that uh, javascript series so that at least you can connect the dot because from day one we will be using async we will be using await we will be using import okay we will be dealing with pages so until you don't understand what is async await import what is variable then again you will find little difficulty while learning playwright so it is important for you to at least have the basic knowledge of javascript i'm not asking you to do go to the advanced level and where you have to design something no just basics of javascript will be enough so please go through that series also which will help you to understand playwright in a more fun way now before we end this video i want to highlight a couple of things in case if you want to get started right away then you just click on the get started and here you can follow the instruction and you can continue this is a very good documentation but if you compare with cypress cypress have more rich documentation this has this is also very good documentation but few things are missing personally from my side so maybe they will improve this documentation later on so go through the documentation they also have a lot of things okay getting started playwright test guides migration integration and so on coming to the apis what playwright provides everything is available here so you can explore the apis as well and again this part don't worry i will be taking care of this but in case if you want to explore few things from your side these are the things which is available playwright test uh, playwright library all these classes again in the classes are different sections and so on again in case if you want to work with java then this, this is a documentation for java this is for dotnet and so on main part community okay so again if you found any bug because it's a free and open source let's say you got some bug or maybe you want some enhancement maybe you want to work on the documentation anything that could be improved with playwright you can actually uh, go to their github profile okay github repository okay you can see right now 35 issues which is open in case if you found any issue you can create an issue and you can submit 
Now it could be bug, it could be a feature, it could be a question or anything. It's a community driven project so you can even contribute. Apart from that they have their Slack channel, their Stack Overflow plus they have also their YouTube channel plus they have mentioned couple of other uh, YouTube videos as well so if you go to their ambassador page these are the official ambassador so you can check their ambassador as well and yeah this is their slack channel in case if you want more frequent updates again documentation is the main key even whatever I have learned I have learned directly from the documentation so if you understand how to learn with the documentation you can learn any tool from the internet yeah so yeah from tomorrow onwards I will continue with playwright how to get started how to download everything but I need your few minutes so that at least you can comf get comfortable with the UI their documentation yeah rest everything I will take that's all about this video in case if you're new to this channel then please subscribe this channel share with your friends and colleague those who are planning to learn playwright and yeah I will see you in the next video till then bye bye take care